November 14, 1940. Over Coventry, the night turns orange. From 15,000 feet, an RAF crew watches a city burn, factories, streets, homes. Somewhere down there, a mother pulls her child under the stairs as the air itself shakes. Up here, the pilots can hear the bombers, but they can't see them. The Luftwaffe runs the darkness. Britain has searchlights, sirens, courage. Yet in the black sky, courage isn't enough. Look night at the after night, spike right there. towns are struck, and defenders are forced to listen to destruction. Good they heavens, can't I believe reach. the output is stabilizing. Then, in a cramped Birmingham lab, two scientists, John Randall and Harry Boot, build something that shouldn't work this well the cavity magnetron, a drilled block of copper that suddenly pushes microwave power from a fragile idea into a weapon of detection, small enough to fly, strong enough to matter. Now the fighter isn't blind. On a green glow of radar, the invisible becomes visible. Night fighters like the bow fighter begin to hunt, quiet, precise, closing in from behind when the enemy still believes the darkness is protection. This wasn't a story about a miracle gadget. It was a story about saving strangers you will never meet. And turning a devastating to blow a shield, to the Axis forces the same as the bomber erupts later in a massive in fireball, kitchen microwave. sending debris raining down. From finding bombers down. in the dark to warming leftovers. War is horror, yet sometimes out of that horror, humanity learns how to protect life.